Hello everybody and welcome back for more Turok 2 Any% percent Speedrun Tutorials! This time we're gonna cover the backtracking segment. If you've made it this far in the tutorial, you're pretty much almost done with the game. You are very close to completing the speedrun. All that is left now is to go back to three previous levels and get the Primogen keys that we could not get before because we did not have the proper talismans for it. Alright, so first off, I'm at the end here at the Sector 1 checkpoint which marks the end for Lightship. You want to enter here, and you want to look at your health. Please First and foremost, you want to go, oh, do, or you want to check for the fact, do you have more or less than 10 HP? In this case, I have 11 HP, which means I am going to go ahead and go to Port of Adia first. And it is Port of Adia Village that you want to go to, right? So as soon as you get out of here, equip the explosive shredder, click the sh fire button once, to make sure that you can actually fire. There's a glitch that happens sometimes that where you can't fire your guns when you're loading to a new zone. You wanna shoot the uh, entrail up there and that entrail up there. So they're both up there. You wanna head up here and you can get the Primogen key. Now the reason why I go here first is because that entrail over there can actually shoot me a little bit more so I can drop below 10 health, right? to make the death warp coming up in a later level, or the next level rather, a lot quicker. The lower the health, the faster the death warp. That said, some really bad things can happen as well. If you have too low health going into there, you can die before you get the Primogen Key. So now that we've done Village, we're gonna go ahead and go to Death Marshes 3. So if I'm below 10 health, I will instead start with Death Marshes 3 and then do Village. All right, so it's basically only these two that matter. Be above 10 HP, go Village. Below 10 HP, go Death Marshes 3, okay? But now we're gonna go here, go to the very right here. And this is also why we unlocked this checkpoint way earlier, right? So we can work back to this one specifically. Just follow my route here. Don't get hit by nades or anything like that. Oh, well, don't do that either, but it doesn't matter. So just, you want to go underwater here, go into this tunnel, get out the map if you feel confused and can't see anything. That's normal. Right? Now just follow my path here. We are trying to get the Primogen key and then having those two soldiers up there kill us, right? So go up the ladder, go up this one, and jump to the left here. Like that, and let them kill you. Easily done. And then just hold backwards as as you spawn back in, right? Just hold that and go back in. How may I assist you? Now for the final part of the backtracking, we're gonna go all the way down to the breeding grounds here. But first, make sure you give yourself ammo. You only want to use uh, one gun in here now, and that is the scorpion launcher because it's completely useless against the primogen. So you might as well use it here. The reason why we refill ammo there and not here is because we already used this refill earlier. So you want to go into this room, jump down into the water, and go to the left into this little tunnel here. Hop up, jump to the second platform immediately here, and then up here. You want to fire at these eggs right here. And then go into the warp. The reason we always do breeding grounds last is because we're going to do a death warp in here as well, but this one is not based on damage. So if we would go here earlier, we would do the death warp and be at 100 health, and then it would take forever for the furlings to kill us. So just follow this path, get the Primogen key, kill yourself, and get out. Right? So now... Oh, I forgot. You're not supposed to do this. As soon as you do the death warp, all you have to do is back into the portal. And now you're back where you want to be. My bad. So just follow the path that I'm taking. Get back into the water because it's faster. And get up. Go left. And go left again. And there we go. This was a little bit sloppy, of course, but as long as you understand that you need to go to Death Marshes if you have less than 10 health, and you need to go to Village if you have more than 10 health, you're fine. You want a quick warp out of here to the hub, 
And now we have all of the Primogen keys, it's time to face off against the Primogen himself, which will be the final video of this tutorial, which will be the next video. Thanks for watching. Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? Primogen key found. <laughs> Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? Primogen key found. Seven lives remaining. Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? Ammo granted. Ultra health. I am Turok. Primogen key found. Seven lives remaining. Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? <laughs> 